So once again, I'd ask you all to show your appreciation. Some takbir for Sheikh Didat. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Well, we have a number of people ready to ask questions. I'll hand the microphone over to the Sheikh. Which side do you want to take first? We'll take, because this brother happened to be the first. I, I admire him. I should congratulate him. You were the first man to get up for asking questions. You have the first chance, my brother. Right, sir, that question I'm going to ask you from the Quran and I will read it in Arabic. So please, for this English is spoken, it's very hard to translate it for me. If anybody he can translate it, all but me after my reading, go ahead. My brother, I make it easy for you. I make it easy for you. I, may, no, I gave you the Quran already. Yes. No, no, you own the Quran already. Open that Quran and read it in Arabic and read it, the translation. Look, I gave it to you already. <laughs> Be fair. Look, I give you time. I give you a chance. I, I give you a chance. You get that Quran, find that verse, read it in Arabic and give them the translation. You do that. Yes, my brother. Mr. Didat, as you know, I am a Christian and I'm fascinated by the work you are doing. Let me start from the beginning, Mr. Didat. In your Afrikaners Torah, the one written and printed and revised recently by you and your Islamic Propagation Centre, in South Africa, there are two key verses, Surah 355 and Surah 5120, which talk about Jesus. For example, in Surah 355, the Afrikan is rendered this way, I am causing you to die. Muslims in South Africa have taken you to task over this translation. For you are saying that Jesus did die. In your lectures and books, in fact, The Choice, which is your own book which I have, I, I read about six years ago, and I believe it was around about chapter 10, where you say that Jesus was not nailed, but tied to the cross. My dear brother, my look, look, now, 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 you said, look, wait a minute, you lied, you lied against me, you, 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 you are, I, look, you lied, you lied against me, more than one lie you uttered already, I'm telling you, you lied against me more than once already, and I will not allow you to continue lying. <laughs> now imagine, imagine the man is now, he hears me lecturing in English. He listens to me in English. Right. He listens to me in English. And he's talking about an Afrikaans Quran. Africans, I don't know. Then he's talking about my book. Yes, my brother. No, no, no. Where is my brother with the Quran? Huh? He fled. You mean he fled? Look, nature, Allah made it. Allah set him up to answer the question right and get the Quran. Look, look, it's not planned by me. I don't know who the man was. He put up the hand. I said, yes, you he get, right, gave the right answer. I gave him the Quran. What makes Good Friday good? I want some Christian gentleman or lady to tell me that and I will present them 
with this book, this encyclopedia of Islam, the Holy Quran, 2000 pages, text translation, commentary. I want to present it to somebody who will give me, I want a Christian, an answer from the Christian. What makes Good Friday good? Great, great. Uh, I wanted this simpler. I said that Christ died for our sins. But you said that. You said that. In so many words, that is the answer. This is yours. Look at it. Look at the setup. This is how God works. He is the first man to ask question. He wants to read it in Arabic because he's an Arab. Okay. He's entitled to. Now, he wants somebody to translate for him. So why do you do that? I, you got the Quran already. Quran already, I presented you with. Go back, sit down while the other guys are busy. Find that verse, find that verse, and you come out and you read the Arabic and you read the translation. Can anything be fairer than that? No. But you see, it's a kind of, I don't know what to say. This spirit that they have, that spirit deserts them. So, out they go. I'll see the other guy. He was talking about an Afrikaans Quran. I don't know Afrikaans. He's going to quote from there. I said, look, here is a Quran. Open it. See the same verse. Tell me. He said, in my book, The Choice, he read six years ago. He's a liar because this book has only come out now. Choice. No, no. Lies upon lies. So I said, now look, here's my brother. You talk about the choice. Here's the choice. Find that chapter and verse where I said Jesus died, that he was not nailed, but he was tied. Did I say that? I'm saying these are the Christian theories. One Christian sector denomination says this. The Jehovah's Witness say that. These are your theories. These are your artists who are drawing these drawings about Jesus being nailed, Jesus being tied up with ropes. That's not mine. So I give you the choice. I said the Jehovah's Witness says, no, he was put on a stake. You know, he was, and he was standing like this. No, not like that. And I said, look, these are the choices I'm giving you in my book. The choices I'm giving you in my book. Now you take the choice. What happened? Because it's your Christians are telling me all these variant things about what happened to Jesus. Now he said, I said. I said, no, I didn't say that. You said, I said, it's a choice. I said, here's the choice. Come on, find it and read it to the people. No, the man, amazing. Amazing. Yes, my son. <laughs>